Hi everyone, I'm Tony and welcome to my channel, Good Japan, Bad Japan. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Tony. Welcome. I've been in Japan for over four years now. I started as a grade school ALT, moved to business English, and now I'm kind of back in the corporate realm doing the kinds of things that I was doing back in America before I moved here. So uh, today I just thought I would share something really unique to Japan. And so in the comments, can you tell me what this is? Just what's the first thing that comes to mind when you see this? Maybe you can read some Japanese. Maybe you can go off the picture. But what is the first thing that comes to mind? So put something in the comments. Okay. So so maybe at first glance you were able to guess that this is... Uh, these are instant noodles. So that's, that's the big one. Um, it's udon. So udon, not ramen. So udon has a much thicker type of noodle. That actually is my preference. I prefer udon over ramen because of the thick noodles. Uh, and this specific type is called kitsune udon. So kitsune udon uh, is known for, gosh, I've, have you ever had rice that's wrapped in some kind of like tofu skin or whatever? It's that's that's the kitsune. So that's something else. There there are experts here that are more qualified to answer that question than me. So please clarify kitsune in the comments. It's not a fox. That's a different type of kitsune as it pertains to this. The reason I'm not an expert on it is because I hate the texture. My wife loves this. But this is besides the point. Why am I going out of my way to talk about instant udon in one video? And I'm going to throw it up on the screen so that that way you can get a closer look. But I want you to look to the right side of the label. So this actually says Nishi Nihon Gente. So Gente, anywhere you see that just means limited time. Like this is, and any, any item you see in Japan that says Gente, get it then. Because if you don't, it's going to be gone. But, you know, Nihon is Japan and Nishi is West. And specifically in this case, it means Kansai. So Kansai is the region of Japan that's made up of Hyogo, Osaka, Kyoto, Wakayama. And I don't think Mie. Mie is close to Wakayama. I don't think they're included. I think Shiga is. Kansai has a totally different vibe from Kanto, which... That's the Tokyo area. That's the area that I'm living in now. Totally different vibe. But, you know, people can talk about differences between Osaka and Tokyo all day long. But one of the differences that I think nobody really thinks about, especially if you're a foreigner, is subtle differences, even when it comes to instant noodles. So I just came back from a trip to Kansai. Um, and my wife, my wife said, pick me up some instant noodles. Why? Okay. So the thing about these instant noodles, and I'm going to put some links in the description so you can check it out for yourself and you can Google translate it so you can see what the ingredients are. But the key difference between instant noodles that you would find that are marked west for Kansai, sometimes they may not be marked east. They're just because because the Kansai version is the special edition. The Kansai style is a little lighter. Eastern style Tokyo, rich. So if you if you were to Google translate what I'm getting off of Yorobashi, Yorobashi.com site, it mentions a rich soy sauce. So that's, that was just confirming things my wife already told me. It's too potent, it's too heavy of a flavor. So supposedly people from the Kansai region prefer something much lighter. They prefer something usui. So here's some, some more Japanese for you. Usui is, is kind of light, diluted, weaker in terms of flavor. Koi. Koi means heavy, thick, rich. So just thought I'd share that with you today for a quick video. Uh, did you know that? I mean, next time, next time you're in Japan, depending on where you land, check out the instant noodles and see if they're marked specifically for the Kansai region or not when you're in Kansai. 
Have you seen anything else that's unique like this? I mean, every prefecture has its own omiyage, but things that you would find in a convenience store, for example, cup noodles or yakisoba, have, have you seen any differences there? I would love to know. Please feel free to put something in the comments. So that's my video for today. Uh, my wife can enjoy this. I'm If I'm going to get something that's Kansai side, that's instant noodles, I prefer the uh, curry udon. I actually think that tastes pretty good for an instant noodle. Uh, what's your favorite instant noodle uh, from Japan? Please put that in the comments as well. Uh, I'd love to know. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you hit that like button, especially if you learned something new, and uh, I'll see you next time.